Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Fallout 3 100% playthrough. This one's been weird. Uh, I guess I do want to apologize for how weird this one's been. We took, like, a mega break from it for the longest time. Um, and then some live episodes, some not live episodes. It's typically how I do it anyways, though, because, you know, like, who wants to just do episodes going to get every location? It's good to, like, live stream and get more done. It's a little grindy. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. It seems like a popular series. Um... You know, I don't know what it's going to look like once we're done with this month of streaming, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Fallout 3 is great. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it is kind of where all the modern stuff started, obviously. Uh, although the pit, yeah, I'm very interested to do the pit. So anyways, we're at the final day of Mavericks 5 on twitch.tv slash Gulvana if you want to come watch live in the future, because we probably will do some other Fallout and Elder Scrolls stuff as well. Uh, link is in the description. But, yes, we are doing this on a 12-hour stream uh, to finish Mavericks 5. We're streaming this May 31st, the final day, the finale. And we're basically, yeah, doing all sorts of Fallout and Elder Scrolls stuff. Uh, so let's get right into it, because I'm not sure how much time we'll be able to spend on each. Because, as usual, I go over time, try to catch up with the chat and everything. But, we are doing the Pit DLC, which, if I remember right is the second DLC to come out. I was playing all of these DLCs as they were releasing back in the day, downloading them from Xbox 360 Arcade or Marketplace or whatever. Uh, yeah, The Pit, I believe, is the second DLC. One that I hated, much like Dead Money, when it first came out because it was so dark and depressing. It, honestly, yeah, I was surprised. You see, like, a firing squad when you start this one up. Um, but I'm excited to experience The Pit because it's been a long, long time. Uh, but yeah, we were playing as our boy Cobalt, level 25. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the tribal power armor. There's our special stats. Why do we have so low agility? We, oh yeah, because we were going big guns and explosives, but again, not very viable. It's viable, I guess, depending on the weapon you use, but definitely not as... Oh, this style is really fun as other styles, like Melee and Fallout 4, for instance. Uh, we have 100 on everything, and here's all of our perks. Got a lot of stuff. And general, very good champion of justice. And uh, yeah, we are wearing the filtration helmet and the tribal power armor because we got all 100 steel ingots. That's going to be a fun episode. Very grindy episode. Uh, but yeah, we got 100 steel ingots, and which gives you a whole bunch of unique stuff. In the pit DLC, it's basically the collectible. You get a whole bunch of rewards. So we're pretty stacked, actually. We're pretty stacked in terms of equipment because they take all your stuff. So, unsafe working conditions. Return to Medea. What has happened so far is we met a guy. He's trying to save his people here in the pit, which is in Pittsburgh in the future apocalypse. And they got some disease or something. We had to go like meet his contact, Medea, uh, who, uh, Tyler Perry joke, and put that in wherever you want. Uh, so we went across the bridge, raiders found us, and like, hey, where are you going? Okay, now you work for us. And they put us into the mill, and then we got all the ingots, and they basically made me a god now, which is going to really screw them over. Um, they should not have given me all this good equipment, but yeah. So we look like this, which is the unique power armor you get from this DLC, which is pretty sweet, actually. I do like it. And yeah, we got to go back to Medea, Tyler Perry's... No, I already worked. Got all the ingots, bruh. All the ingots hath been acquired. So back to Medea. Cat hair and face hair. Uh, yes, cat hair is a part of why my nose is so itchy today. Yes, because Yen begs to be pet, and then the hair gets everywhere. And it's just a non-stop itch fest. Door to downtown. Downtown. What's up, obstacle beat down? You're my favorite Bethesda streamer. Well, let's hope uh the hell. Let's hope we got a lot of content. You know, I don't know. Hey, this yeah, reading the four agreements really put into put me into a good headspace again. I kind of relish streams again. We were kind of losing it a little bit near the end of the month, but brought me back. So, what I'm trying to say is, I'm excited for the future. Um, even was thinking about what could we end this month with, which we obviously are doing this today. But 
I was like, we could do Starfield. 12 hours of Starfield. Or Fallout 76. I was like, that could be funny and interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hey, we might. We have a lot of stuff, which hopefully will hold us over to The Elder Scrolls 6. Jesus Christ. In 50 years. Good. Just in time. Asher has ordered everyone into the square. Rumor has it that he's going to open up the arena. That's perfect for us. The arena? I don't remember that. Arena? Before I go anywhere, you're going to explain this plan to me. It's simple, really. From time to time, Asher opens up the arena. Any slave who wants to can fight against the gladiators. If you win, you get your freedom. More importantly, you get an audience with Asher. It's the only way a slave will ever get to talk to him directly. You fight, you win, and when you talk to Asher, you take the cure. The cure. Yeah, I feel like the pit's really quick. If I could be wrong, but I feel like, yeah, we might, we'll probably, well, I don't know. We don't have a lot of time before we got to switch games, but maybe we'll finish it. I feel like it's just really quick. I don't remember anything about, like, the main story. I don't even remember an arena. I definitely remember Asher, though. He's kind of like the leader of the pit raiders. Do I have to kill him to get it? I wouldn't shed a tear, but no. Warner has a distraction planned. We haven't been making these weapons for nothing, you know. But when you're meeting with Asher, you'll be close enough to grab the cure. Get it and bring it to me. Now let's get out there and listen to Asher's speech. There'll be hell to pay if the guards catch us in here. Yeah, how do you get your own room as a slave? That's a pretty good setup, you know. Listen to Asher's speech in the courtyard. Asher's always a cool name to me, although Nathan Fielder plays a character named Asher in The Curse, and he's kind of an extremely pathetic character. I bring you good news. We stand at the dawn of a new golden age where others merely survive. We thrive. We thrive. And while I have led your efforts, it has been by your own strength that you have earned all the envy of the world. It was like an echo. And most of all, they envy our victories in the struggle for freedom. Because, yes, freedom is what we all work so, towards. To celebrate this struggle, I ask my loyal workers, who among you is prepared to fight for your freedom? Right here. We have one. This man here will Who fight will take in the hole. This rare to Come on, Asher. What is happening? Will you send someone to Sir, the you carry not only the chance. dream that workers can become free, but that we may all someday become truly you. free from the threats Smith. of our world. Sign up for the arena. I don't remember any arena situation. Yeah, I'm not remembering the pit at all. Point lookout's going to be quite fun to do because I probably don't remember a lot of that too even though it's my favorite Fallout 3 DLC where the heck am I going here around this way it's just a dead end it's kind of weird goofy handlebar stashes from fable ah yes the fable the fable facial hair always a fun customizable thing uh, do I have a playlist link for your stream playlist? I'd love to save it. Uh, if you go to... Yeah, I, might, I sh maybe should make a playlist command. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can type exclamation point YouTube. If you go to the main YouTube channel, look at playlists. Everything that has released so far and will release is in the different playlists on the main YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Grovana. Enderall. Uh, yes, Enderall. Yeah, I, yeah, I probably... I mean... You know, I think um, a big reason is be impeccable with my words, trying something something I'm trying to keep in mind. And I think that will make something like Starfield, even though I most likely will not like it, a fun playthrough because I will be criticizing it for the correct reasons as opposed to just tearing into something for the point of tearing into something, you know. So, I think with Starfield, we could definitely do that at some point. But yeah, Enderall is probably the priority because holy moly do I want to play Enderall really bad. Really bad. Is this you? First thing I'm going to do once I'm free is burn out Phaedra's eyes. She has the worst of them. Oh, Phaedra. I remember Phaedra. This is going to be some good shit, I tell you. Are those mini nuke? Is that a mini nuke bra? Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. It's pretty rad. Uh, where is this person? They're like in the walls. Okay, perhaps over here. 
probably my number one RPG streamer, bro. Well, thanks for watching. Glad to be. <laughs> so you're the dumbass scab that signed up to fight in the hole, huh? <laughs> well, head on down. Phaedra's waiting for you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. You know how much crap I have on me right now because of those ingots? Like, whoever fights me is going to get obliterated. Quite literally. I wouldn't worry too much about feeling a bit less enthusiastic about streams at the end of the month. You had stepped away and then it was a very consuming return with Maverick, so that makes it easy to burn out a bit. It wasn't burnout, though. It was... I don't want to talk about what it was, because honestly, it doesn't even bear talking about. It wasn't burnt out, yeah. I mean, that, Cindy and I were talking about that, too, and she was like, oh, well, you probably and were just burnt out. what are you doing out. down here, slave? Don't tell me your pale ass is going to throw down. Uh, yeah. I am going to throw down. Yeah, it was more so just... <laughs> <laughs> the need to succeed at all times, basically. Which, the Four Agreements regrounded me and reminded me. You gotta do things for the right reasons and not get caught up in constant success and upward movement. Um, Where do I sign up? You don't sign up. You tell me you want to fight, I set up a fight. You die, and I repeat it with the next jackass slave who comes in here. Sound good? You want in? Come on, death's got to be better than your life, am I right? I'm not going to die. Also, everybody is, uh, yeah, covered in this nasty disease. Uh, I don't know what specifically it is. Some sort of mutation or something, but we're trying to get the cure for it. I want to fight in the arena. What are the arena rules? It's pretty simple. When the gates open, you fight. Last one standing wins. Of course, when the gates open, the barrels drop in. So just make sure you kill the other guy before you die of radiation poisoning. You don't want to spend too much time with whatever's in those barrels. Ah, I see. So it's going to be a little bit like Thunderdome, which I just recently watched. Mad Max Thunderdome. Beyond Thunderdome. Holy crap, that movie. What a good first half turning into just the most boring Peter Pan. Ugh, what were they thinking with that? My God. Anyways, there was a big fight in an arena, kind of like this. When I fight in the arena, do I get any weapons? You have what you take in with you. Oh, okay. But if that's not enough, there are a couple of things in that locker over there. So they're screwed then. Tell me about the other slaves who have fought in the arena. What's to tell? Most die. Yeah, one or two have made it out, but that's about it. Okay. I want to fight in the arena. Oh, yeah? You sure you're ready to die? Yeah. Put me down for a fight. Well, all right. I've got one for you right away. Or you can take some time to put your affairs in order. <laughs> it's up to you. Well, who am I going to be fighting? We're going to throw you in there with a bunch of the other scabs who think they've got what it takes. You're all going to fight it out, and the last one standing gets to move on. Probably won't be you, though. So it's like a multi-round thing? Is that what's going on? Okay. Uh, no, not yet. I'm not surprised. It just don't take too long. And don't get yourself killed anywhere but in here. Don't worry. We're not getting killed. Pretty overpowered. I just want to see that locker you got. And what you got in the locker. Where's the locker at? Radex, Radex. This locker. 32 caliber rounds, a pistol, a lead pipe, and a nail board. We do have a unique 32 pistol. Wild Bill sidearm, but it's fully in full condition, so we can't use that. Okay. Mm, empty syringe. Right. You again? Back for more, huh? Yo, you don't gotta sub if you, you know, if you gotta focus on other things. Don't worry about subbing. Just watch and enjoy, or don't enjoy. Do whatever you want. <laughs> but don't feel pressure to support the channel. I'm ready to fight. Are you sure about that? Because once I lock the door, there's no going back. Arena rules. I'm so scared. Let's do it. If you're ready, just step on in. I feel like she's like, hurry up and fight, and then she tells me like 500 things. It's like, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's get our weapons in order. We got a whole bunch of unique weapons from the ingots. So, oh my god, we got so much stuff. Frag grenades go there. Frag mines go on eight. Man opener. Which one was the better one? I think the Mauler. Yeah, there's like two unique auto axes, but I think the Mauler is better than the man opener, even though the man opener definitely has a better sounding name to it. Metal blaster is like a laser shotgun, from what I understand. And then the perforator is, or the perforator is the unique scoped assault rifle in this DLC. Wild Bill's sidearm is a good 32. So we'll go with the perforator. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Rusty gate to the hole. 
will fight, they will die, and all for you, all for your entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the arena. Oh, okay. Thought there was going to be a lead up to that. What's up, guys? Oh. Oh. It's pretty good, actually. It's a pretty good weapon. And there is only one left standing. Only one. Oh, my friends. What a fantastic fight. How far will this slave go? Uh, spoiler alert. All the way. Because trust me, they ain't got... <laughs> they ain't got no... No... Equipment like my equipment. Wow. Impressive, slave. Those were some of the toughest scabs around here. You've got some fight in you, it seems. But I wouldn't get too excited. I'm sure Asher's got something special planned for your next fight. Here's something for the rads. Enjoy it while you can. Come back when you're ready for your next fight. This is so weird. It's like, yeah, it's genuinely like the Oblivion Arena. Prepare for the second fight. Enter the hole. Oh my gosh! <laughs> your mom. Your mom. Yo, Taylo, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, thank you very much. Coming in with that prime sub. Enjoy the sub benefits. Thank you for the support to the channel. Oh, she literally just takes all your rads away. Oh, okay. That works. Battle. You again? Back for more, huh? Oh, I'm ready. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hendrix Unknown. I haven't read the Four Agreements, but I'd look up the tenets to see more of what you were talking about. I think the one that really helped me is don't take anything personally. Since I've had a history of anxiety, I'm a perfectionist. And I've struggled with social cues in the past that I often think it was me doing something wrong. And really consider the person I'm talking to had their own stuff. Oh, yeah, no. that That's a very big moment for me was realizing, like, why am I caring so much about what other people think or think? And I think that comes with age and maturity, obviously. But, yeah, at the end of the day, like, you really should. I mean, you obviously should care about, you know being empathetic and having good relationships with people but at the end of the day you got to live your life not be so worried about what other people are thinking constantly you know which of course is easier said than done i'm ready to fight i wouldn't count on luck this time you damn well better be ready who am i going to be fighting asher says he wants to make this one good so he gave you the bear brothers they're a couple of mean bastards hell rumor has it they're halfway to trog as it is but i'm sure you'll do fine just fine. I will do fine, trust me. I'm basically a ringer. All these people stand zero chance. Let's do it. Well, all right. That's what I like to hear. Get on in there. Okay. Yeah, the perforator's pretty good, I think. Don't Next think we'll have too much trouble. The newcomer can hold his own against real fighters. Release! Fight! Can I open the gate? Oh, okay. It's the Bear Brothers! John Bear. Oh, what the? Oh, I thought that was his, like, actual arm. He's just got a, he's got a death claw gauntlet, right? Or is this, like, unique? Uh. Does the de Yeah, I'm assuming that's a death claw. Yeah, because that's, like, a cut make your own weapon in this game, right? Okay. Bye bye, John Bear. It's one bear down. Where's the other bear? Ah. I think we have, uh, what is it, Grim Reaper Sprint? Kill somebody, get your AP back. It's Grud Bear. Don't matter who you are, though, is the real, real situation. Off with your head. Goodbye, Grud Bear. What kind of name is Grud? Anyways, get a better name. The Raider Iconoclast and Flamer. Don't need a Flamer. Where's, this, where's your brother? Deathclaw Gauntlet. Yeah. Oh, so we can just take this. You have to make this in this game. Cool. The only part of the pit I remember is something about a little girl or baby with a bomb. Oh. Oh. Not bad, Grinder. Not bad. The Bear Brothers were some pretty mean sons of bitches. One more fight and you're free. But I wouldn't plan on making it through the next one. Here's a shot for the rads. Come back when you're ready for your last fight. Surprisingly, give you free radiation removal. 
Optional, prepare for the final fight. Oh, I'm so scared. I better prepare. <laughs> oh, no. I better use my stim pack and get full health. You again? Back for more, huh? Oh, I'm ready. This will be your last fight, Scab. One more and I don't get to call you that anymore. You ready? Uh, who am I going to be fighting? You're going up against Gruber. He's one of the only slaves to win in the hole. There's only ever been, what, three? I guess he got a taste for blood. But unfortunately for you, he's got a pretty decent gun. Oh, no. So odds are this is the last time you and I will be talking. Yeah, you realize you keep saying that and I keep eating them, right? Let's do it. Well, all right. That's what I like to hear. Get on in there. McGruber! So I wonder if this guy's got a unique weapon. Always thought, yeah, this this DLC is definitely dark. I do remember that. It's pretty dark as far as themes go. Defeat your opponent dot dot, but not the third dot. Come on, let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him. Okay, so what's your gun? Gruber? Let's take a look at what gun you got. Oh, you survived it. Ooh. You survived my initial salvo. Here, you can have that. You can have that. Also, this is for you. Oh, you're dead already. Well, gosh darn it. And Gruber falls! Gruber falls! The champion is toppled! A new slave rises from the gutter to join us! Welcome him! He's earned it! <laughs> That was, yeah, that was really oblivion right there. McGruber! Perk added, the vicious fights in the hole have made you stronger. You're now more resistant to radiation and damage. Epic. Okay, what did you have? McGruber! 556, five, bro doesn't even have a unique infiltrator. So yeah, they added the infiltrator, which is a scoped uh, assault rifle from the base game. Which we can actually repair, as far as I understand. Our... Uh, per... I keep wanting to call it perforator. Perforator. Wait, I thought you could repair this. Yeah, because this is a unique version of this. The infiltrator. But we can't repair it. That's weird. Anyways, another one bites the dust. Boo -do 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 -do. Is this Fallout version well, of Oblivion's now, Arena? Aren't you quite the scrapper? Congratulations. Thank you. You've done well. Asher wishes to see you. The guards will be told to allow you to pass. Okay. That guy's got a good voice. You don't really hear him, do you? In anything else? I'm trying to think. He's got a pretty good, uh... You want something? Raider voice. What the hell? Oh. They just give you all your stuff back? Oh, boy. Wait. Oh, you're just freed already? Oh, no. I'm not gonna have any... Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Okay, well, here we go. Inventory management time. Yeah, I thought this was one of those situations where they give you all this stuff after you beat the DLC. But they just, yeah, you're freed as a slave, I guess. Okay. Oh boy, how much are we over-encumbered by now? 323 over 220. Hopefully we don't gotta make some hard sacrifices here. Guy's giving vibes of the announcer from the arena in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, I thought you were for sure going to say the Elder Scrolls IV. Oblivion. Okay, first of all, what uh, perk did we just get from that? What would that be? Bark skin? No. Bloody Mass Child at Heart Commando. Contract Killer. Comprehension Cyborg. Educated Entomologist. Explore Finesse. What would that perk? Pit Fighter. The vicious fights in the hole have left you stronger. Both your damage and radiation resistance have been increased by 3%. Okay. I'll take that. Alright, so basically we're going to drop anything that is not unique. Because we're going to be super duper weighed down here. Bombshell armor. This was unique. Unique. Not unique. N uh, unique? Maybe? He gave us like a couple of weird outfits. Leather rebel, leather rebel, labor outfit. Oh, wait, why do we have all this? 
Raider Commando, Commando, Iconoclast, Ordinance, Pain Giver. Okay, Supervisor is not unique, right? This stuff is also not unique, I don't think. Raider Commando, Commando, Iconoclast, Ordinance, Pain Giver, Worn Slave Outfit, don't need that. Okay, I might be able to do this. Weapons, 10mm pistol, submachine gun, assault rifle, brass knuckles, combat shotgun, death claw gauntlet will drop. Nine of these grenades. Oh my god, why do we have so many frag mines? Okay, we'll drop 30 of these. Holy god. Okay, hunting rifle, don't need that, infiltrator. Jingwei's man opener, metal blaster, nuka grenade, steel knuckles, the mauler, the terrible shotgun. Okay. Well, that worked out. Cool. Let's go. Rabble, rabble, a bow and a bang. Rabble, rabble, a boo, boo, a boo. Uh, your mom. I think it's a Yao Guai gauntlet. Is that a thing? A Yao Guai gauntlet? It was a death claw gauntlet. What do we have as our melee weapon? Oh, this. Yao Guai gauntlet. Am I forgetting about that item? Your face is a mess! Uh, Yao Guais are the bears, yep. Try to remember this go and sound dark, but nobody cares about you and no one is special, and I don't mean it to mean to be mean, I just mean people are way too busy with their life. This place is so weird. No, don't crash! Oh my god, after I did all that inventory management. Come on, man. Come on. We were having, like, I've having a really good string of not crashing ever, and then lately, some things have been happening. Blah. 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 Okay, hopefully this is after the last fight, at least. Go on, fight! Well, now. Aren't you quite the squ- Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come over here, take all, press tab, go to apparel, do 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 do, do drop that, leather rebel, uh, drop that, 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 supervisor helmet, do 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 do, worn slave outfit, weapons, boop boop, 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 drop nine, go to frag mines, drop thirty, oh my god, frag mines are just harder to use, typically. Drop the hunting rifle, and we're good. Yeah. Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. Uh, people are way too busy with their life most of the time to really care what other people are doing. I always remind myself of this because I used to be a people pleaser and always worry about others' opinions. Yeah, nobody really cares. <laughs> it's quite funny. Even the, even the nice people, even the people that are just naturally... Okay, there we go, here and then around. Even the people that are, like, naturally good and nice people, you know, I feel like... At the end of the day, yeah, they're still worried about their own stuff, you know. They'll be much nicer about it, obviously, but... It's like when people mention that they don't like going to the gym because they don't like people looking at them and they're, like, uncomfortable being in public working out or whatever. It's like, dude, nobody cares. Everybody is working on themselves. Everybody is focused on the podcast they're listening to or their music they're listening to or their sets or their reps. Muscle, mind connection, whatever. It's like, people are not worried about you, trust me. Unless you're just obviously dressed to be stared at or something. Open door to Uptown. Oh, Uptown. Uptown, girl! Sir Kruber. Uh, what's up, Flippin' Trees? Welcome in. Hey, GV, did you ever play Returnal? And if not, would you be interested in doing so? What's up, Nordberg? Uh, definitely would be interested. I remember when that trailer came out, I was like, this does not look interesting to me in the slightest. But then everybody said how good it was. Apparently, Returnal is a very good roguelike game that a lot of people enjoy. Um, so yeah, I would definitely play it. I actually owned it on PS5. I don't think I have it right now, uh, but it's dirt cheap, I think. So if I ever had time, yeah, I, for, I would for sure give it a shot because I do love roguelikes that are good. And uh, definitely seems like one of those. Very popular game, I know. So uh, may perhaps one day just have a list of 15,000 other games I got to get to first. Rebel, rebel. Where the heck do we go, man? This place is a weird place to navigate. I gotta lockpick my way to this guy? That does not sound correct. Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. Just open the lock. I swear the locks we've been dealing with lately are so rude. <clears throat> Yaogwai Gauntlet is unique in honest hearts. 
But is it in Fallout 3, though? I feel like there's no Yao Gwai gauntlet. Could be wrong. It's probably because of all the items of the ground that you crash. Should have put them in a container. I mean, ultimately, it was just... It was 35 mine. Well, we... <laughs> in Oblivion, for anybody that wasn't there, we, uh... Ooh. In Oblivion, for anybody that wasn't there, we, um... When you do the interrogation with Herdier, we killed the... Killed the conspiring person, and they had like 228,000 maces on their body. It was literally the mace icon with 228k, and we looted it. And then I think it turned into like 26,000 maces in our inventory. And I dropped it, but it was like one mace as a stack of 26,000. That was so weird. I had never seen that before. But uh, yeah, that didn't crash anything. So I don't know. You have discovered Haven. Eh, hey, get me out of this. Oh, it's Burning Man. What is this, actually? It's pretty badass. If you were like a vault, if you were like a Fallout overlord. It's a pretty intimidating structure. What's up? Okay, door to Haven Entrance. I don't remember... I definitely remember Asher being enigmatic. I don't remember, like, what his deal is, though. I think he's just evil, but I don't... Remember if he's more nuanced than that. Meet Asher. Elevator to Haven. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a Pittsburgh uh, building too. I don't know much about Pittsburgh. Lord Asher will be right with you. Feel free to wait inside, champion. You, okay. I've got it covered. I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense a little justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city. And there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go to her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, I'm sir. waiting. Okay, break's over. Do you have any idea how much work it takes to keep this city to- Nice work in the hole, New Blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? Yeah, um, yeah, a preparation joke about the hole. Feel free to fill in the blanks. I heard the pit was building an army. I'm here to join. It's complicated. How about we just say I'm new in town and looking for work? I'm the hero who's going to kill you and free the slaves? I mean, yeah, pretty much. I'm curious what happens if you choose that. I'm the hero who's going to kill you and free the slaves. I figured it'd be something like that. Goodbye, new blood. Oh. Okay. No. Oh. 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 Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh. 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 It's interesting, but I I don't know if it skips like the entire DLC or not. Blah blah blah. Whoa! Oh, those are our stim packs from before. I was like, why do we have so many stim packs? Does this like skip the whole DLC? I don't really want to do that. I don't think. What's up, buddy? Crenshaw, off with your head. Blah 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 blah. Boopity boopity. Okay, who do we got? Who's left? Where you at? Oh, you're a turret. Oh, 
You're a beefy turret, too. papa. Does that, like, skip the whole... Okay, I don't really remember how much you do for him. Boop, boop, boop. Supervisor helmet. Yeah, does anybody in the chat know? Uh, should we stick with it? I mean, maybe it would be what our character says, but... Yeah. Uh... It's kind of weird because, like, you would think back in the day someone would buy this DLC, and then they choose that option if they're a good guy, which, you know, a lot of people probably are. And then the DLC's just over? That's a little depressing. Asher's Key, Asher's Power Armor, Luck plus one, Charisma plus one, Strength plus one, Agility minus one, Rad Resistance plus ten. Frag Grenade, Recon Armor Helmet. Is that unique? I don't know. Okay, how does that compare to what we've got? AP plus 15, melee weapons plus 5, luck plus 1, strength plus 1, agility minus 1, luck plus 1, charisma plus 1, strength plus 1, agility minus 1, rad resist plus 10. Do, do, do. Um, okay, I think we need to drop. Oh, this thing weighs 10 pounds. Jesus. Infiltrator. Can't repair this, right? So we drop this. Everything else is unique. We're over by nine pounds. Laborer out. I just don't remember how much of the stuff is unique or not. Recon armor helmet. Okay, do we have any? How much do the drugs? Oh, drugs do. Oh, yeah. Why do I think drugs weigh things? Stealth boys. Mm hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Pack of cigs. None of this ammo weighs anything either. Crap, like everything we have is unique. Didn't expect you to do that. I mean, I just wanted to see what would happen, but... Yeah. Okay, I think we need to drop all our grenades and mines, unfortunately. Two pounds over. <sighs> Nuka grenade. It's not gonna matter. Steel knuckles, the mauler, the terrible shotgun. All this stuff is unique. Labor Outfit, Leather Rebel, Metal Master, Recon Armor. I'm gonna drop this, because this might not be unique. Now we're like full capacity here. Who's this? Sandra? Cure Research. Okay. I don't know if we should do this or work with him. Cure development progress research by Dr. Sandra Kundanika. Observational tests on isolated samples suggest the subject, subject has a natural adaptive immunity to the so-called trog mutation. Furthermore, it appears that this immunity carries on to other forms of radiation-induced sickness, from radiation sickness to larger mutations, such as the all-too-common development of a sixth toe. Attempts to isolate these effects have been slow going, due in part to the duplicate nature of of delicate nature of testing. Prospects exist for duplication, but the unique and delicate nature of the subject requires utmost care in testing. According to the internet, killing Asher changes nothing and is the right choice for a morally good character? Do you not, like, work? Yeah, this DLC must just be super quick, right? Do you not work for him? I feel like... Well, dang. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Ba -ba -da -da. Uh, what is our current objective? Yeah, so basically everybody's here affected with the trog mutation, which slowly turns them into basically ghouls, but then into, like, monsters that we saw in the steel mill. And it sounds like there is a subject that has a natural immunity, kind of like X-Men. An X-Men situation or whatever. So we need to find that subject. It sounds, yeah, what's our quest? Uh, need to find that subject, it sounds like. Find the cure in Asher's palace. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You've lost karma. I hate how silly that is. Steal the baby and leave. That's such a funny... That's such a funny objective if you don't know that <laughs> this is about a baby. You just, like, walk in here and look at the wall. It's like, steal the baby. Uh, what baby? Uh, hold on, baby. I am coming. Wait a second, baby. There's the baby. Research computer. 
But who? Nobody at the gym gives an F what other people are doing other than rare circumstances. They really, I mean, yeah. I've always heard that sentiment and I can confirm I do not care about anybody else unless they get too close to me or they're doing something really annoying. There's been, you know, there's been people that are like shadow boxing the air a foot from you. And it's like, can you chill? Do that somewhere else, please. That sort of thing. But yeah, if you're not being obnoxious, I could give two craps about what you were doing in the gym. I do not care. Pit Bio Research Station Crag Jensen Protocols Loaded. Baby Monitor. Baby Status Healthy and Well. Trog Studies. Tro oh, they're straight up called troglodytes. Troglodyte Degeneration Contagion Research by Dr. Sandra Kunda Kundanika. An epidemic of the environs around the pit, which I have named Troglytic Degeneration Contagion, or simply TDC, appears to be the result of intensely concentrated radiation, but the unique toxins and pollutants in the pit cause it to be far more pervasive. Anyone living in TDC active areas experience skin lesions after a few weeks of exposure, which could clear up after a month or more away from the infected areas. For many healthy adults, this is the full extent of the effect. TDC also seems to interact with brain chemistry in a manner that produces a number of psychological effects, even if the subject remains physically healthy. I'll need to recover more information about psychosis before attempting to enumerate those effects. Approximately 20% of adults will progress further, losing higher reasoning and motor skills over the course of years until they have degenerated into a bestial trog. No subjects have ever been recovered from full degeneration, although wishful rumors persist of trog retaining memories. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Your, mom. Your mom. Yo, Geek Vet 11. Geek Vet 1031. Thanks for the prime sub for four months. Enjoy the sub benefits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no subjects have ever been recovered from full degeneration, although wishful rumors persist of Trog retaining memories and recognizing the faces of loved ones. More tragic, however, is the fact that children born in TDC active areas have virtually 100% degeneration rate, often becoming feral within weeks of birth. Cure research. Is this just what we read? Yeah. This is what we read. Okay. Okay. So basically, I think what this is saying is, yeah, people turn into drugs, it's bad, and also, yeah, they have this uh, baby here that has a natural immunity to the TDC mutation. So we're just going to go ahead and yank that baby. Baby Marie is napping peacefully in her crib, safely connected to various medical monitors and wrapped in protective swaddling. It looks like moving her would not go over well with her family. Pick up the baby and kidnap her? You carefully pick up the baby. Do I have a baby in my inventory now? I'm gonna laugh so hard if there's baby in Misk. Please. Oh! I, I was not expecting that to be a thing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> baby. Okay. That's so funny. Alright, well, yeah. Oh. Hi. There's more? Okay. Bring the baby to Medea. Boop. Boop. Raider throwdown armor. Okay, unfortunately we have like no carry weight here. May the mini gun... Sorry, I'm missing so much chat, by the way, guys. I'm just needing an opportunity to catch up. Feel free to repost as usual if I miss anything. Uh, what do you think the RAM of the human brain is? The random access memory of the human brain? Got no idea. Three horrible dialogue options. 2.5 petabytes? Is that a real thing? People can... Wait, is that a real thing? People can test the amount of RAM a brain has? According to the internet, yeah. Now you have no choice but to kill or side with Werner. I don't remember what he even does. Blah, 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 blah. But if he's going to stop me from... Justice, he will die. We shall see. Turret control system. The baby is a reskinned, remodeled, damaged garden gnome in the game files. <laughs> That's so funny. A damaged, reskinned garden gnome. Okay. Uh, give me the thing. Oh, it literally has to be this. So easy. Man, you get 100 sides. It's so easy. 
Unlock save. Deactivate turret system. Even though we lose that on experience. Let me sleep in this crib. I need to, like, get some healing. Oh! Look at all this stuff. Diary 1 to Marie. The Scourge. The Mill. The Cure. You've lost karma. Bro, I'm just helping people out. Will you chill out? Blah, 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 blah. That face. Cam, pet, cat, or dog? Uh, this is a cat, but she keeps blocking the camera with her freaking foot. Stop blocking the camera. Put your foot anywhere else. Yeah, this is Yen, the cat. Okay, notes. Diary 1 to Marie. Test 1, 2. Looks like this thing is on. Marie, if you're there, this is your father speaking. Ishmael Asher. Sometimes called Lord of the Pit. Now I hope you're hearing this ten years from now. Sitting on my knees safe and sound. Right about now. I bet I'm looking pretty silly. But things don't always work out the way we'd like. There are a lot of risks. Including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you, so you can know who your father really was. Okay. Marathon, more like Vonathon. Sure, that works too. Marie, the first thing you need to know is that I wasn't always the Lord of the Pit. Long before I was a king, I was a scholar and a soldier. In fact, I was in the Brotherhood of Steel. You've probably heard about them, but you may not have heard what we did to the city. The Scourge. When we came here, the pit was just a breeding ground for trogs. Cam Commander had us torch the place and take what we could. The pit had useful technology. But it was suicide to stay here. So when an explosion left me buried in the mill, my brothers were sure I was dead. I don't blame them for leaving. I probably would have. We thought nothing could live in the pit. We were wrong. Okay, so he was in the brother. So he's. So yeah, is Marie his actual daughter? I don't know. So yeah, to Marie, the baby, who's in our inventory, <laughs> who's in our pocket somewhere. And then he was in the Brotherhood of Steel, something collapsed. He oh yeah, because the Brotherhood of Steel was trying to like destroy the pit, right? And then like something collapsed, he got like stuck here, they left him for dead. Okay, the mill. Marie, you know those fights in the mill's arena? Well, its first fight was when I woke up to someone pulling me out from a pile of rubble. At first. I thought it was my brothers pulling me to safety. Instead, it was a scavenger trying to steal my armor. She didn't get it. But I learned she had a whole family of scavengers. They'd make raids into the city for gear from the mill. And that gave me an idea. This was the only working steel mill we'd ever seen. In a world of leftovers, it was a chance to build again. And that was worth any price. The scavengers saw me as a god, so along with my brotherhood know-how, it was easy to set up the basics. We started to build a city. Okay. So I get the mill back in order and everything. He has a plan, but I mean, he's evil though, right? He, he's basically the leader of a raider group, and if I remember right, yeah, he's straight up evil. I, we obviously missed all that because we just killed him, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not a good dude. The cure. As word of a new settlement got out, the city started growing and fast. When raiders attacked, I'd kill the leader and recruit the rest. I had to. The city's disease meant we couldn't have children, so recruiting was the only way to grow. And as we grew, the mill needed more workers. And yes, that meant recruiting workers by force. I'm not proud of it. But it's the only way to keep the city supplied and armed. But it was always a temporary solution. 
until our best scientists found a way to cure the city's epidemic. Sandra and I worked on it day and night. And after one particularly late night of work, we were blessed with a cure. It's the cure inside you, Marie. Even now, we're doing everything we can to figure out how to share your gift with the city. While keeping you safe, of course. So by the time you're old enough to hear this, you'll always be a hero. Congratulations, Marie. You've already saved us all. I knew you would. Okay, so he recruited everybody from different raider families. Somehow he met Dr. whatever her name is. He had a baby. He said like a particularly long night. So they had sex. They had Marie. So it is his actual daughter. And she just happens to have the cure in her bloodstream. Oh, I might have missed something there. Did they experiment on themselves with injections or something and cause her to be immune? Or does she is she just immune? For what reason? I don't know. But yeah, so I guess Marie was actually their daughter, and we stole his daughter. But yeah, he was uh, a little corrupt there, basically stealing people, forcing them to work as slaves. Not good. So we had to put a stop to that, obviously. I I, I wish we kind of talked to him more, because I, I remember him being an interesting character, but... I don't know. This is kind of interesting, too, just doing it this way. Blah, blah, blah. How does it feel knowing that you can't do anything against me? You ain't getting away. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You, you see, the thing is, you kind of like walled yourself in with all this crap everywhere, you know? There's like nowhere for you to go. You're out of here, huh? Let's see where we're gonna go. Oh. Lead me, lead me to the promised land. <gasps> Boop. Who the heck is up there? Who the heck? Oh. Ah. Vikia. All these people are like ah. uniquely named, so I want to loot ah. them. Want to loot them before we get out of here. Blow, blow, yeah, bottle, pa. Ah. Okay, hold on. I'll be with you shortly. I gotta loot all these people. Yeah, but there was like, oh, what's his name? Do do do. It was like a uniquely named guy over here. <clears throat> Soft or hard cookie? Oh, dog. Uh, are you asking me my preference for a soft or a hard cookie? Um, probably... Jeez, probably somewhere in the middle, honestly. Um, I'm thinking like my favorite type of cookie is... Oh, hello. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's like running from these guys. Phantom. Yeah, they're all like uniquely named. Uh, my favorite type of cookie is like basically a homemade chocolate chip cookie, but I think it's kind of like firm. It's like in the middle between hard and soft. I don't like a hard Chips Ahoy type cookie. Probably do prefer that if it's homemade though, like a hard chocolate chip cookie. But I don't. I definitely don't like a soft one either. Like somewhere in the middle, a half chub, if you will. Mm, pop, 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 pop. Oh, let's use the let's use the the mauler. This thing sucks, man. It's... Oh, my God. Yeah. Why is this glitched? Die! Just fucking die! That's what I'm saying to you, but I can't use this stupid weapon. These things are glitched out. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Finger Jet Mentet Stim Pack. Uh, hold on. I'll be with you shortly. I'm trying to loot everybody. Give me a second. Blah, 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 to yeah, there's something about the oh. man openers or the um, what's it called? There's something about the oh. um, the auto axes that are like they they glitch out. I don't know if I, I've never oh. ran into that bug before. I don't think. Kind of sucks though, cause I want to like see them oh. do their thing. Yeah, this weapon is really good, though. The Perforator. I just hate its name. It just sounds like a office tool. Okay, where are you all dead? I need to loot you guys. Oh, you're just going to give up? Mm. Thing is, you're not out of here, though. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 
Yo, Wicked Little Dragon. Thank you so much for the 400 bitteroonies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. Run for it! Fuck! Uh, this kill is dedicated to you, Wicked Little Dragon. As soon as we grab this man's head and cripple it, making him forget math. Now you really are a phantom. <laughs> okay. Finger Medex, thank you. All right, who else? There was like some somebody Lulu Lemon or somebody over there with an L. Da, 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 da. So many raiders. Hey, look, we're doing what the Brotherhood of Steel couldn't do. Wiping out this disgusting place. Where was that chick that we killed over here cuz she was uniquely named? Oh, she like ran up the way, didn't she? He's literally a slaver, so nothing can redeem him from that. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's pretty irredeemable. Oh, I shot his weapon out. Oh, Vikia! Oh no, you guys almost got me. Whatever will I do? Oh, wait, hold on. Modern medicine. Boop, 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 boop. Are you gonna run up and punch me? Is that the plan? That's pretty ballsy. Nice pigtails. <gasps> Goodbye! Oh. I'm out of here! But again, <laughs> where are you gonna go? You can't go anywhere, Vicia. There's nowhere for you to go, unfortunately. You guys made this place like a fortress. Kinda boxes you in, you know? <laughs> Help! Run for it! Mm. Mm. Red Up? They all got unique names, like all of them. Alright, hold on, Red Up. My arm. This is your ass that I shot, not your arm. Give me a second here. Run for it! Man, I'm telling you, trust me, it's it's not gonna happen. It's really not. Um, but I want to kill you like this. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, listen, I can't do that and chase you at the same time. There we go. Raider scum. What do you got? Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. I wonder if there's like anything unique in any of these like apartment buildings or not. Okay, we still got like four, five more enemies. Wow. And then where was, uh, what's her name? Vikia? Vikia? She was just born immune or with a very strong resistance to the Trog disease, so they want to study and use her to make the cure, kind of like Ellie from The Last of Us situation. Yeah, that's a little bit weak writing, right? Like, she just is born with immunity? That's pretty convenient, isn't it? There you are. Bloop, bloop. Mm. Oh, you got a lot of weird little mechanical stuff. Guess you were like a mechanist sort of person. Yeah, that's a bit of a plot contrivance, no? The fact that, like, they have a... They, they need a baby... What was that? Oh. Uh -huh. I do like that they're all uniquely named, kind of this guy's, like, raiding party. Squill. Yeah, isn't that a bit of a plot contrivance? It's like, oh, everybody's infected with the Trog disease. Man, oh man, now we've had a baby, and wow, she just happens to be immune to the disease. Isn't that lucky? Like, did they not explain it further than that? I would understand if they were, like, scientifically altering themselves or something. That way, when they have a kid, it passes on to them DNA-wise, but... Yeah, she's just immune. She just is born immune. What the heck? Oh! Oh! Duke! Hold on, Duke. I'm gonna check this stuff out real quick. Okay, I'm coming to you guys. Oh! Don't want that. Who are you? Oh, you're just Pit Raider. You don't even get a name. How unfortunate. Blah, 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 I think this gun also fires like a fourth shot or something. I think the normal assault rifles fire like three, and this one fires four. I may be confusing this with another weapon. Off with your head. Goodbye. Uh, yay, so glad I was able to catch a bit of the finale. Thanks for an awesome month of streaming. Thank you for watching, Low Country Grace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited for this finale. I'm, uh, I'm in a really good energetic space at the moment. I think it should be a good finale today. Should be having some fun. 
God. What a bloody mess. Mindful of the four agreements, basically. I think that'll lead me to success once again. And some good times. Okay. Oh! Bye bye. Boop. 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 Psycho tick helmet. Always like that one because it looks like the actual tick. Jackson. Oh, who are you? Are you the guy that. So many unique named guys. Which one's Jackson? He's like the first one we meet, I think. Because Everett or whatever is the guy that puts us in the steel mill. Okay. Bye bye, Jackson. Off with his head. Off with his head. Uh, lol, it goes on forever. Yeah, I mean, I won't lie. I mean, it's it's very hype getting a huge sub bomb because literally your stream labs and the chat just like fills up entirely, and it's just it's a great feeling as a streamer to see that happen. I think so. Thank you once again. Always epic. It's been ages oh. since I've seen that alert. I know. I know. It brings a tear to my eye. I love that hey. alert so much. Oh. It's a good one. It brings a tear to me eye. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you're still making content. Always enjoyed watching your stuff. Oh. Yeah. Just needed to uh, oh. work on myself quite a lot, you know. Oh. Physically and mentally. I think the mental, the physical stuff is kind of easier than the mental stuff, I think, which Cindy kind of pointed out to me, and I was like, yeah, you're pretty much right. The mental stuff is, I think it's easy to take the mental stuff for granted when you're working on the physical stuff, because the physical stuff helps the mental stuff, but the mental stuff is an entirely different beast. One of which that I think, basically staying humble and grateful will go a long ways with Harris. Harris's supply key? All scabs die. All scabs die. Oh, am I considered a scab? No. Ugh. I'm a free uh trouble man? <laughs> okay. It's trouble man. Hey, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> it's trouble man. Featuring Bobby Moynihan. Okay, I'll kill every last one of you. It's not going to end well for you. Oh, Friday. Look at all these different names. It's crazy. Kind of glad they don't all have unique stuff, though, because that would be a ton of stuff to haul back. Friday. Oh, there's a pit slave. Okay, where's Friday at? Friday. Getting down. Friday supply key. What do these keys go to, I wonder? Yeah, this is a very interesting way to do this quest because you're basically just fighting for your life getting out of here. But luckily, we are quite powerful. It's not going to be too difficult. Let's go ahead and heal up just in case they get a lucky shot. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. We'll use a stealth boy too. That's the last Make us even extra. Good hide, huh? I'm Put literally hiding. Scab down. Do not curse on my stream, please, okay? Um. It's okay for you to explode in a fine red mist. But it's not okay for you to say the F-bomb. That's too much, right? Okay, what's this? DPW mail terminal? <laughs> Dr. Borman's office log, journal soft, logged in as Nurse Hicks. Patient log 148, personal log 48. Patient log 147, so this would be first. Patient R. Jenkins. Symptoms. Patient presents runny nose, fever, swollen feet, bad breath, headache, jaundice, and extreme pers perspiration. Honestly, I have no clue what's wrong with him, but performing tests seem to make his symptoms lessen? What? Okay. Number 148. M. Kramer. Patient complaining of myalgia as well as swollen and large lymph nodes. In addition, pa patient reports a feeling of unease, suspected asymptomatic herpetic infection performed AR series of tests and exam samples sent to UMS for analysis is that like herpes herpetic infection 
Okay. Dr. Borman asked me to look into new office space. Being this close to the mills is terrible for the patients, but he says that we can afford a new office now. Ever since the Canadian annex, we've had a lot of vets in the office, so the numbers are looking way up. War might be hell, but it's good for some of us. She, like, happy to capitalize on people's misfortune and being a doctor's office? It's pretty messed up, actually. Do, 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 Bingo! That's a bingo! Thank you. My favorite one used to be the Pokemon theme one. I remember donating $100 once just so I could hear you sing it. Truly Magnificent or the JoJo one. Yeah, I mean, not to like... Not to like, you know... Pit Raider. Not to like, you know, spur on donations or whatever like that. But yeah, we have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> obviously, I think when we're, you know, when we're doing really well, people are much more willing to drop the big stuff and the big bombs and all that but um yeah for anybody that doesn't remember or doesn't know yeah we have a lot of uh a lot of big alerts a lot of big alerts for different things some fun ones yeah the pokemon one's a classic pokemon one is a classic it's true there's some good ones in there and uh yeah thanks everybody past present future whatever for obviously supporting the stream very much appreciated. Want to do things for the right reasons moving forward. But it's always a nice bonus, of course. Why do we have like 20 more pounds of carry weight? God, there's so much stuff in here. <clears throat> Dude, have I never seen that mini nuke bra I want from one for myself? Yeah, I pointed out earlier. Pointed out earlier, yeah. Little mini nuke bra. There was also um I think one of the armor sets you get has like a mini nuke fin like core, kinda like Iron Man. And somebody, I don't remember who, I apologize, but somebody said we have Iron Man at home. Oh, Ace of Swords, I think. So we have Iron Man at home. No, that gave me a hearty chuckle. Fallout games aren't great for avoiding the F-bomb? No. People have mouths like sailors in this game. Which actually, the first time I ever played it, really, uh, yeah, this was a, this was a weird game for me to play originally. Because I think I basically went to GameStop, and I, um, yeah, I was basically like, hey, I think I had played, yeah, because Oblivion came out first. So I must have played Oblivion and been in love with it from, like, borrowing it from my friend, I think. And then I probably asked the GameStop employee, like, hey, is there anything like Oblivion or any, like, RPG like that? And he probably told me, oh, yeah, the, the people that made Oblivion made Fallout 3. It's new. And I was like, oh, what's that? And I think I looked at the back and I was kind of scared by the ghouls. I think they were on the back of the case. But I was like, okay, if it's like Oblivion, that'll be fun. Oh my god. Wow, look at all this ammo. What the hell? Combat. Oh my god. Friday Supply Locker. Oh, she must like sell you stuff if you are go along with the raiders. Holy moly. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, she must be like a... a what do you call it? A, a barter or a trader? A trader. Yeah. Boop, boop. Power armor, fist, pulse grenade, pulse mine, ripper, shotgun shell. Man, it's going to suck leaving all this, but whatever. We don't really. We do need money, honestly. It's surprising how low of money we have, considering where we're at in this playthrough. But oh well. Uh, but, anyways, yeah, I. Um, Yeah, I remember, like, I instantly loved Fallout 3. I knew that I was playing a quality game and a, and a good game when I first played it. But I was also very scared of it, too. I remember, like, yeah, the friend that let me borrow Oblivion, he had a mouth like a sailor. And his family had a mouth like a sailor. And um, I was over there a lot. Like, every day. And I used to never curse. Like, we did not curse in my family. I used to never curse. Not that it was like, oh my god, you cannot curse here, but just more like, it wasn't the, it wasn't the air of, like, what you would do in my family, we just wouldn't curse. So I just remember, like, spending a lot of time with him and his family, like, yeah, I eventually started cursing like crazy. Um, but at the time, I think when I was playing Fallout 3, like, I, I did not, so, like, hearing everybody curse, I remember specifically, I have a very clear memory of going to the Super Duper Mart, Super Duper Mart in Fallout 3. 
and being horrified because the Raiders like string everybody up. Looking back at the graphics now, it's kind of funny because you know, graphics didn't age that well. But back in the day, it was a very eye-opening moment for me. Like experiencing the Raiders and the cursing and everything. It was it was not the type of game that I was used to. Which is hilarious to think back on. Okay. Oh! Gotcha. Alright, well, there's probably... Slave Master. Gross. You die a horrible death. Burp, burp, burp. Uh, well, yeah, there's probably like a million things to explore here, but honestly, I think we have all the uniques, because you get them from the Iron Mill and Asher. Um, yeah, I feel like we have most of everything. Plus, we missed some uniques from like, you know, different choices you can make in the game, but then also uh, like the uh, Mothership Zeta DLC. We missed, you know, some stuff there, so it's not a big deal if we miss some unique stuff. I, I personally would enjoy to do that for 100%, get all every unique weapon and armor that I can possibly get. However, based on me burning out near Mothership Zeta and not going for that, I think we will attempt to end this DLC, which is very short. Wow. Quite short indeed. <clears throat> uh, found your videos when you started the max difficulty playthrough of Skyrim. I don't always talk in Twitch chat, but enjoy nonetheless. Well, thank you for watching. Regardless of how you watch, I do appreciate it. I do quite appreciate it. Millie? Have you seen Wild Bill around? Oh. Uh, yeah. I found him in the steel yard. Oh, that's wonderful. Where is he now? Did he come back with you? No, he did. Bill said to let you know he's okay, but can't come back anytime soon. I don't understand. There's never any reason to lie about this. It's like, okay, I'm lying to protect her or whatever. And then she just finds out later that he's dead anyways. And it hurts even worse because she had false hope. Like, just be straight up with people. I don't agree with stuff like this. Heard Bill's blood curdling screams and I knew I was too late. Okay, well, that's just sadistic. Uh, Bill's dead. I've had his body in the steel yard. I'm sorry, Millie. He's dead? But he promised us he would come back. I, I, I have to let the others know. Thank you for your help. Here, take these stim packs. They're all I have. Wow. Honestly, you should keep those, but okay. Thank you. Sorry about Wild Bill. I do have his gun, though, and I will use it to uh, avenge the pit. Boop, 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 boop. Bye bye. I just realized I need GV to play a bard in D&D to hear him sing every month. Um, yeah, I was talking to chat yesterday, and, uh, I was saying, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a caster next, uh, next character. Is a bard caster? I don't know. I feel like I might be building up to the bard, because, yeah, I feel like bard would be something I would really enjoy. Um, is a bard caster? He does stuff. He does do magic, right? He's like a buffer, I guess. But, um... Yeah, that could be a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, next, uh, I'm gonna do a caster next for sure. I was thinking of Warlock... But I'll uh, figure it, figure it out. Go away! I'm trying to help you. Can I not like remove you from the stockade? You're gonna die here if nobody else helps you. But oh, kind of like him. Okay. Jeevy's got an impressive falsetto. Thank you. I, dude, honestly. Oh. Am I over covered now? What? Two twenty-two out of two twenty. Wait, why do we have two forty before? I definitely had like. 240. Why was that? We didn't use a drug or anything. Okay, let's drop the stealth boys, I guess. Should have used one, actually. In oh! fact, we take that back and then use one of those. There we go. Where'd I go? That's you. That's you. Where did I go? God, bloody mess is so satisfying. Boop, boop, boop. Um, yeah, genuinely, I, a lot of it has been practice. Like, I, I, you know, it's the type of thing where it's unguided practice, so I have no idea if I've, like, practiced singing in a good way or a bad way or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, I sing all the time in the car or whatever, in the shower, obviously, everything. And um, I genuinely feel like I have gotten better as a, as a casual singer over time through just sheer practice, you know what I mean? Feels good, but I do enjoy it. What up? Sounds to me like you've stirred up a bit of fuss with the raiders. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer bunch of murderers. That's what I'm saying. But more importantly, I hear you've stolen the cure. Mind if I see it? Yeah, it's a baby. Um, 
I don't feel right about kidnapping. She's going to be safe, right? Of course she'll be safe. We're just going to do our own research for the cure and then ransom her back for our freedom. You've seen how Asher and his people treat us. It's far, far kinder than they deserve. Yeah. Um, there's nobody to ransom her back to. They're all dead. So, um, I think what you need to do is you need to, like, find a cure through her and cure yourselves. And then maybe start a new town here. Try to find some, like, you know, way to uh, defend yourselves. Because, yeah, the leadership, they're, they're all dead. They're, they're all logged in. Uh, thank you, Stitches, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. As long as the kid's all right, take her. She'll be all right, just not with me. Asher's guards are always watching me. They'd find her right away. Werner sent me word that he's hiding out in the steel yard. He's got everything there to take care of the cure. Take it to him and he'll handle the rest. Now get going. Okay, I mean, they're all dead. There might be like one or two bad people left, but... With the uh, pit slaves and their auto axes. I don't think they're going to last. Uh, so, but okay. Werner's note to Medea. M, secure the site for the bundle. Have it sent to the shack below the blast furnace in a steel yard. Door will be cleared when the fighting starts and marked with a bright blue light to keep out trogs. Asher and his family will get what's coming to them. W. Yeah, again, they're dead. <laughs> they're all dead. So... Okay. I feel like they should definitely give you a dialogue option for that. Like, you literally have a dialogue option to initiate combat with Asher, which means if you success succeed, he's going to be dead. So I feel like there should have been something that, like, no, he's dead. I killed him. So whatever you guys want to do next. Okay, find Werner. Where's Werner at? Uptown? How the heck do you get there, man? These are like dense buildings. I don't know where to go. Um, is it up there? I guess so. Let's go up. Uptown girl. Morgan Freeman voice GV would soon find out that Fallout was. <laughs> JV would soon find out. I used to be able to do a good Morgan Freeman too. JV would soon find out that Fallout was not, in fact, like Oblivion. Yeah, in Oblivion, the worst you got to deal with is obviously Mayroon's. Uh, Mayroon's Plane of Oblivion. Which, again, is why my mom never let me play Oblivion, and I had to sneak buying it at a GameStop that allowed me to buy it, even though I was not 18. They should not allow me to do that. But I had to, like, <clears throat> sneak buy it. Because, yeah, she looked up pictures of Oblivion and saw... I think because she looked up Oblivion, it, like, showed her pictures of the Daedric Plane of Oblivion. And then, like, all the, I guess, heads on pikes, or whatever they do. I don't even remember much of, like, the gore that they show or anything, but... Yep, and then she did not let me buy it or play it. So I had to hide it from her. I remember specifically... Who's down there? Is that Everett? Oh, Hammer. I remember specifically, like, being in the Shivering Isles, and, like, I would have to pause every time she, like, came into my room or something. I'd have to, like, pause and get on, like, a mushroom and just, like, show her how bright and pretty everything was, and... She had no idea what game it was, and I was like, isn't this such a pretty game? But little did she know, it was the Oblivion game. Pop, 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 pop! See you later, Hammer. What do you got, my friend? Thank you. Even now you don't curse much, it's always weird hearing you drop an F-bomb just because it's so uncommon. Ah. Um, yeah, I mean, that was just... I don't know what that was. It was basically just, like, an intentional effort. Stop. It was, ba it was basically just an intentional effort to make my content more accessible to everybody, because a lot of the time people say, you know, they watch with their kids or whatever, and then it makes me genuinely feel bad. Like, a lot of parents just don't care, and that's cool. But, like, um, yeah, it just kind of makes me feel bad. Like, oh, God, yeah, I said this thing, and then there's, like, a kid watching that, <clears throat> and I feel like that's impressionable. Because I definitely probably don't want my kids, like, you know, saying F-bombs and stuff out of the gate. Probably over time, whatever, but... Yeah, it was just more of a conscious effort to, like, make my content more, um... If there's no need to curse, it's like, why curse, basically, in a nutshell. In, in real life, like, whatever, I don't really care. But in, like, 
you know, if I make it a playthrough of something, and there's no need to curse, then why curse? Oh, you're right there. Hello. Goodbye. What's up, Ricard? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh, I thought I just shot somebody good by accident. Yes, fight! Fight for your life! Fight for your life, pit slaves. You will be slaves no longer. Oh, don't shoot the good people. Don't shoot the good people. Alright, you guys got it. I believe in you. Good luck. Uh, how's life been? Pretty good. Definitely on the upswing. Trying to continue to build upon myself and my goals. And all of that sort of thing. And be as silly as it sounds. Some sort of inspiration would be quite nice. Been there, done that. Would be good to do it again. What's this? Abandoned area. What do you have to say about all this? Everett? Woo! Saw you fighting in the hole. What a piece of work. Now I know why you ain't afraid of those drugs. No hard feelings, huh? Um... You're a slave master, right? Like, you're you're one of these pit dudes, aren't you? Uh, how about I put you to the whip, huh? Guess I couldn't stop you. But then you'd never find all the little bonuses I got stashed over the years. <laughs> how about this? You bring me ingots, like you used to. And I'll make sure you get compensated when you do. Can't be more fair than that. Huh. Well, here's the thing, Everett. Uh, I already have all your stuff. Not only that, I already have all the ingots as well. And you're a dirty raider, a slave-owning scum. So, um... Yeah, how about I compensate you, buddy boy? It was fun while it lasted, though. Click, click. Alright. Into the abandoned area. GV caster hype train. Yeah, I figured, you know, we did the rogue. We did paladin, which has a little bit of magic. So next time, yeah, why not? go full caster, you know, which has always been a little intimidating to me, but especially playing as a paladin, it's like, okay, I've got a handle on this somewhat at this point. Uh, Bard is a caster, support caster. Yeah, I would definitely uh, enjoy that for sure. Half caster is a paladin, right? Raise the kid to be kind. That'll be the true revenge. Well, luckily, if it's nature versus nurture, if it's nurture, then she's got a good... Starting point to the steel yard. I remember meeting Werner out here. This is interesting. Bad GV. He didn't want my kiddo to cuss for the first time because of him. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen, raise your kids however you want. I don't I don't care. I'm just saying, like I like being eloquent. I like being well spoken as best as I can. Part of that I think is if there's no reason to drop a cuss word. It's weird though, I'll listen to or watch YouTube videos with people that are obviously very intelligent and stuff, and they'll curse all the time, so I don't really know if that's even a thing that matters much, but it's just something that I wanted to do, you know. If I don't need to curse, why curse, sort of thing. Where is this guy? Wait, where does this even go? There's like no exit out of here. Find Werner. Werner's hideout? Did they just add this? Cause like we've been all over the steel mill and there was definitely no other zone. It's kind of weird. Is that this? Is he like up? He's definitely Somebody up there, I think. Okay. So where was we go here? Do -do -do. Ellie says the F word all the time because of you. Obviously, just kidding. <laughs> I what? It's not going to make me not sleep at night. I just want to make it as easily accessible to as many people as possible. Okay, so he's up there. Yeah, they just straight up added that door, didn't they? That definitely was not there previously. Um, how the heck? Oh, hi. 
I was like, my brain was like, is that a dead body in the corner of my screen? Indeed it was. Um, how the heck do you get up here again? I'm forgetting. Maybe over here. Hey, I found you on YouTube about a week ago and started watching your Mage Skyrim Let's Play Atronach and have loved it to been watching every chance. I'm definitely going to watch more after, which is why I had to come follow here too. What's up, Stitches? Yo, thank you very much, Stitches. Appreciate it. Yeah, the Adronox's a good one. Um, if you watch that and enjoyed it, I would definitely recommend, uh, I guess, Fallout New Vegas 100%. People like that one with Avery. Um, you know, they're all pretty solid. Whatever you feel like you want to watch, I would say, is a safe bet. Or else it's just not on the channel, because I thought it was terrible and deleted it. Pit Slate. What are you doing here? Yeah, they, def they just... Yeah, they just added this door. Because I remember going here behind this. That's so weird. Huh. They just thought people wouldn't remember that? Okay, I don't remember what this guy's deal is. So what's the situation right now? We gave the baby to Medea, which should raise the baby to, you know, make a cure, whatever, and cure everybody. Why would this guy get mad? Is this guy going to get mad at that? I don't know. But this, but he, this guy's kind of a jerk. He introduced us to the pit. Okay, what's up? Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready and there are plenty of tests to run. So hurry up and put the brat in the crib. Okay. She's here, but you never told me this meant kidnapping. The baby's here and she's safe. How will this help the slaves? The baby's here and she's safe. How will this help the slaves? It means that we can study Asher's bastard. And once we dig the cure out of it, make sure that we all get the treatment. But more importantly, it means we're ready for the last part of the plan. Letting the trogs overrun Uptown and wipe out the bosses. Leaving the slaves free and turning the bosses into trog food. Yeah, they're already dead. This is so weird that there's not like a third option. Because like if you just fight Asher, you basically have to kill them all anyway. So it's weird that you know, yeah, I already took care of that. He's like, oh, okay, well, see ya. That wasn't the deal, Werner. I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, sure. He'll just march back to Asher and his venomous little wifey and say, Sorry, I stole your firstborn. My mistake. You're in it this far. It's easier to follow through than it is to back out. Yeah. I guess you're right since I already killed his wife. See? You're stuck on this path, pal. Might as well see it through to the end. In fact, now comes the fun part. We wipe out all those bastards in Uptown. Yeah, they're dead, though. They're literally, like, all dead, except for maybe one or two, like, normie dudes. Um, so you're just going to cause, like, a huge problem, basically. I wiped out a lot of them already. Isn't the job already done? <laughs> you cocky bastard. Think you killed all of Asher's little psychos? No way. Not even close. Any given day, most of them are out on raids or trying to push further into the city. Now there's trouble. They'll be rushing back, guns blazing. No, the only way to put an end to their kind is to destroy their home and salt the fucking earth. Give Uptown back to the Trogs. Okay. This is... Sounds like a plan stitched together with tape. How am I supposed to do that? Simple. Get someone else to do it for you. And there's a whole city full of Trogs hungry to do the job. The only thing keeping them out of Uptown are those floodlights. And I know where you can shut those off. Shut off Uptown's light, and the trogs will sweep in to take care of the rest. They're all dead. This is so stupid. And how am I supposed to get out of there? My advice? Keep running till you're in downtown, and don't look back. Now, you can get to the power plant from a manhole down in the steel yard. Near the train tracks, you can't uh... miss it. Head down there. Find the floodlight controls, and turn off Uptown's floodlights. I'll meet you back downtown. And here, take this. You'll want to stay hidden when the trogs come. Now get moving. Okay. Stealth boy. Already got some. Shut off power for Uptown's light. Yeah, I remember none of this. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, so I guess for anybody in the future, yeah. I mean, it's cool to be like, I'm the hero. I'm going to kill you, Asher, and then kill all them. But boy, oh boy, do you. Eh, it's not too bad. But it is kind of weird. I feel like it's better to do one of the other options. Um, okay, I'm going to take this if you don't need it. Well, I wanted to finish the pit, but we have to be moving on to a different game, unless we kind of just not play it as much. Um, we are kind of near the end, though. 
I guess I'll ask the chat. Uh, do you guys want to keep going with this until we finish the pit? Seems like we're near the end. Or do you want to switch to the next game would be Oblivion, I do believe. Yeah, I set them up in order of, like, release date or, you know. Three Fallout games, two Elder Scrolls games. So, Fallout 3, then Oblivion, etc. Do you want to see Oblivion now? Or do you want to finish the pit? Because Oblivion will have less gameplay, if so. And we are in the Shivering Isles, so it's fun. Let me know in the chat. I'm going to take a bathroom break. And we will be back. And we're back. Okay, so I basically asked chat, did they want to see the next game, or did they want to see us finish the pit? And I think, yeah, I kind of want to finish the pit as well, because, uh, yeah, we're pretty much near the end of it, I am pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, we're going to finish... Gonna finish the pit DLC ladies and gentlemen, and then move on to Oblivion, which will probably be a short episode, unless I wanna... Maybe we could always cut out a game. I was worried about this, I was like... Yeah, uh, you know, I, I like chatting. There's obviously, whenever there's, you know, a lot of chat in my streams, I usually try to... talk to everybody, and, uh... You know, engage in conversation, it's fun for me, but, um... Yeah, we could cut out a game. Probably would be Fallout 4. I would bet would be the weak link. I don't know. Or we could just do a very short episode of one of the others. We'll have to figure it out because we're running out of time. But we have a whole day of streaming, but I'm saying something we'll have to give at some point for one of these games. However, let's finish the pit. Free labor shut off power for Uptown's lights. Yeah, this is such a weird... What a weird... Because, like I said, we already killed everybody. But it's a pretty good line that, like, oh, but they're probably on, like, raiding missions or whatever. And they'll come back and yada, yada, yada. I guess I would have liked if there was an option maybe to, like, arm the pit slaves and, you know, kind of put them in a position where, like, no, they can defend the city. We're good. And then we leave sort of thing. Which would make more sense to killed all of the raiders, basically. But, all right. So, we got a... Turn off the floodlights in downtown or uptown, and then let the trogs take over the city, which is like, okay, we'll have fun with that, I guess. But I just want to get out of the pit, because this place sucks. I like the DLC, though, but... Yeah, F the pit. Uh, obstacle beat down. Think of the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, let me know if you guys like if I, like, shout you out for the follows or not. I, I really don't know. I mean, ultimately, who cares, but... Some streamers do it where they'll just, like, anonymously say, you know, thanks for the follow. Other streamers will shout out the person that follows. I don't really know. Don't know if people really care, ultimately. Putting myself in the shoes of a viewer, if I go to somebody else's stream and if I follow, I know for a fact my name is going to show up on their stream nine times out of ten. So it's like, why would I really care about somebody saying my name, I guess? But I don't know. Don't think the Asylum playthrough is up. Yeah, I honestly really regret deleting all those playthroughs. Mainly, like I said, I was planning on monetizing those YouTube channels and it was impossible having copyright claims. And also, it would just, like, kind of cripple the channels, too, in terms of, like, certain, uh... Benefits and, um... Uh, what's it called? Features oh. of the channel. If you have a lot of copyright claims, which unfortunately, oh. VOD channels are susceptible to because they're streamed and very long and susceptible to getting claimed at some point. But, yeah, I honestly should have just kept it unmonetized and kept all those playthroughs up. That was really stupid. But you live and you learn. Future playthroughs, I will not be using any music that could be copyrighted. At all. And then hopefully everything is never touched. A couple of videos this month have been muted due to the VOD, which is surprising because I don't even know. Fallout videos always get claimed. I have no idea why. It's so weird. Like, Elder Scrolls never. And they're more popular. You'd think they would be the ones getting claimed. But it's always Fallout. Fallout's OST. Not even the radio stuff. It's just the background music just gets claimed up the ass for some reason. <laughs> Glad I saw before it was taken down. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Man, any now, don't say it doesn't matter. Matter. I can go 
with the flow. Oh. Oh. Who the heck put a mine down there? What the hell? And they call it a bad. Oh my god, so many trogs. Ah! Oh. I can go. Ah. Oh my god, hello? With the flow. La ba da ba ba. Ya ba do ba ba ba. Ba do da na na. I can go. With the flow. Ah. I would love to use that ah. man opener. But, uh, yeah, it's just glitched. Let's use the metal blaster for a bit. It's like a shotgun laser weapon, apparently. We do not have... Do we have energy weapons at this point? No. One of the skills we don't have, actually. But, let's use that, see how good it is. What flow? But I don't know. Don't say it doesn't matter. Matter any way I can go. Do 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 with the flow. Uh, yeah. One album I haven't really talked about much is uh, Queens of the Stone Age songs for the deaf. Ooh, is that not even a critical? Oh, that's a lot of damage. What the hell? Uh, yeah, Queens of the Stone Age songs for the deaf, which apparently is a really popular album. Um, I've always like listened to the Queens of the Stone Age a little bit, but never like got fully into them. Uh, that is a great album. That really grew on me quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think the concept. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, crap. Okay. Weapons, frag grenades. Let's drop three off. I think the concept is like, it's like on a big uh, road trip or something, but it's just a really good driving, like, rock album. I like it a lot. Uh, okay. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I didn't want that to happen. Thought it was out of the range of that happening, but nope. Okay, this weapon seems extremely good, by the way. We only have 48 energy weapons, and it's like one-shotting things. Wow. Holy moly. Holy moly. Go with the flow. Ba -da -de -da -da. Don't say it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go this way. Just make sure we're on the right path, because I can turn myself around easily. Shut off power for Uptown's lights, and then where the heck are we? The pit underground. Okay. So yeah, just gonna keep going up and up and up. <clears throat> Good afternoon, beautiful people. GV, how's your day so far? What did I miss so far? What's up, German Gamer? Welcome in. Uh, day's going great. Basically just woke up, did some Hearthstone, prepared for this 12-hour stream, and then jumped into the stream, playing some Fallout 3 first. Which has been a lot of fun. I do like the pit DLC. I think we'll review it at the end here. Uh, and that's about it. We got 12 hours of streaming. Oh! The hell? Commencing. Lawful. You are deadly. Boys. Got 12 hours of streaming, so I'm just gonna try to pace myself and have a good time, basically. Do, 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 do. Yo, thank you for the follow. Alan M. Welcome to the stream. Network connection not found. Dummy terminal inactive. Okay, we are a pound overweight here. Okay, we'll just have to drop these. Boop, 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 boop. We'll use a stealth boy, I think. Alright, you got this, buddy. I believe in you. Uptown floodlight controls. Terminate floodlight power. Check power levels. Atomic turbines at 10.8%. Resume floodlight power. Escape to market square. It's interesting that you can resume it. Why would you want to resume the floodlights? Yeah, I guess this is what I like about New Vegas more so than Fallout 3. Is that it just feels like there's so many more options in Fallout New Vegas for quest conclusions than in 3. In 3, it's just a whole lot of like either one way or another way and that's it. Whereas like New Vegas look at the like Archimedes this old sun quest. There's just so many ways to complete it. I think that's just something New Vegas does a lot better. The sheer amount of options. 
Um, I guess we're on barter. I kind of wish we went energy weapons now, but I will. Barter it is. And then, yeah, it's hard picking perks because we have so much stuff already. Warmonger. You figured out on your own how to build all the custom weapons with the Warmonger perk. All custom weapon types become available to you without the schematics. That's interesting. It's kind of fun to hunt down the schematics, though. Rad Tolerance. Although you are still notified when you get minor radiation poisoning, you do not suffer any ill effects from it. Or just use right away. No Weakness, Karmic Rebalance, Devil's Highway, Quantum Chemist, Deep Sleep, Infiltrator, Computer Wiz, Chem Resistant, Master Trader, Chemist, Life Giver, Fast Metabolism. We're just so strong, it's like, what do we even take at this point? When the sun is down, a night person gains plus two to both, in both intelligence and perception up to a max, but it's up to a maximum. That's the problem. Nerd Rage, here and now. Animal Friends. Strong back. Yeah, strong back. That might be good here. Especially to get out with all this loot. 50 pounds more of extra equipment. Okay. Strong back. Up, down, girl. I like how they re-put, like, pit raiders here. It's like, bro, I already killed all these people. Come on. Okay, have fun with the trogs. I am out of here. Goodbye. Sucks they didn't remaster this one for console Xbox Series X. Closest thing to a remastered game for consoles. Yeah, it's really honestly surprising. Okay, let's make sure we're going the right way. It's really surprising. Like, Bethesda loves to print money. I feel like they have so much potential with obviously just remastering, you know, these old games. But obviously they're going to do one for Oblivion first, I guess. Okay, local maps. We go this way. We make... So we go forward. Then we make a left. And then it's downtown. Stop cursing. Stop it. I like when streamers shout out people by name. I prefer it too. I mean, we stopped for a while. We went to just like thank you for the follow, but yeah, I don't know. If you're if you're following a stream, I feel like you know you're going. Your name is going to appear on the stream, and that's kind of like you know a little introduction. If someone plans to be a bigger part of the community. It's like, oh, I remember when that person followed, you know. So, I think we will shout out their names, at least for the time being. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's doing like a... Okay. Stop. Oh, my God. Do not make me use stim packs. I don't want to use stim packs. Stop it. I remember your... I remember your Undertale playthrough was getting claimed a ton. Oh, really? That's interesting, considering it's Toby Fox, who is a G, and usually pretty cool with stuff like that, I think. But it's probably not him. It's whatever studios do it. Uh, the pit, the mill. Where are we going? Oh, it's like directly below me. Um, can I just make that fall? Oh, I guess we're gonna see. Nice work, pal. When I saw those lights go down, I swear I heard the trogs laughing. I think I speak for all of the ex-slaves here when I say good riddance to those bastards. May they rot in a glowing grave. Okay. Um, that leaves me as the new lord of the pit. Interesting. Uh, I personally would not want to be lord of this place. This place sucks. As long as the slavers are free and Marie is safe. Yeah, yeah, everybody's happy. Medea says she'll take care of the kid when she's not too busy with everything else. Don't worry about it. We cut a few corners on researching the brats, so we've already got something good to keep down the rads. It's on the house. But the real wealth of the city is in that steel mill. You'll have access to the ammo press in there, so go nuts. You earned it, kid. The ammo press? Ooh, what does that do? Uh, so what do I do now? Whatever you want, boss. 
I'll be whipping folks back into shape, and Medea's keeping an eye on the brat, so you can come and go as you like. But if you want, you could keep collecting steel from the steel yard. Most folks can't handle it, and the foreman would see you get a reward. And if you really care, Medea said she's looking for toys for the brat. I guess if you find anything, you could bring them to her. But that's only if you give a shit. If it were just me, I'd just keep drinking till the booze runs out. So live it up. Interesting. Ammo mill instructions, free labor completed, perk added, medical research from the pit has improved your life. Just try not to think of what it may have cost others. Okay. Not a lot of XP for that quest, surprisingly. How's research coming on the cure? I got folks working on it 24-7. It'd go faster if they didn't keep fussing about not hurting the little squirt. Medea's the worst of them. Keeps asking people to bring the kids toys or some sort of bullcrap. You'd think an old slave like her would know how to work without raising a fuss, right? So they're not slaves, though. So Werner's like, I guess just the foreman or whatever, but they're not still enslaved. That would... I feel like this is the type of situation where in real life this would just repeat itself, but okay. I have to go. You just wait. We'll whip the pit back into shape. Yeah, good luck with that, man. I really don't like this place, so, um... Oh! <gasps> Best of luck. But, uh, yeah, I shan't be returning unless we have something to complete here, which I guess we do. Medea... Medea needs toys for the kid? I don't remember that being a thing. It's like a little collectible side quest or something, I guess. Okay, so what, uh, what, uh, what, 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 what perk did we get from that? Ba -da -da. Booster shot? Medical research from the pit has improved your life. Just try not to think of what it may have cost others. Your radiation resistance is improved by 10%. Eh, that's okay. Uh, so we got the ammo press and Medea. Where's Medea at? I know you've been avoiding me. Just give me 20 seconds. Kid, toys for the kid. I don't remember that being a thing. We're all indebted to you for setting us free from those bastards. You just don't know what a difference you've made. Now the rest is up to us. And I have to admit, it's pretty daunting. At least Werner's taking care of organizing the city so I can work on the cure. Would it help if I brought toys for Marie? That sure would help me out. Happier Marie is the more likely I can get a full night's sleep for once in my life. She seems to really enjoy teddy bears. Creepy little things, but I guess she doesn't know any better. Bring as many as you can, and you'll get paid plenty for it. I promise. Oh, teddy bears. Okay, I don't remember that. The sound of my brain is like, oh yeah, collect these things to give this, to give to somebody. How's the baby doing? She's a handful, is what she is. I mean, I'm glad she's healthy and I take care of her like she's my own. But it's a full time job, and I hardly have any time to work on finding a cure from her. People help out here and there, but she's just such a handful. Okay. Well, good luck with that. And I have a diaper to change and blood samples to run. All right. Yeah, it sounds... Sounds, uh, fun. Where is the baby, by the way? Oh, there she is. Activate crib. The crib is securely closed. Okay, well, have fun with it. Yeah, the pitch is such a depressing place. Good luck! Okay, what's the deal with the steel, the ammo thing? Bop, bop, huh? Steel for the mill. For all residents of the pit. Mill, mill production means I need all the steel ingots you can find from the steel yard to the supply plant. Anyone who brings in 10 ingots gets paid. See Everett in the steel mill. It's soldiers, I don't care if you think you're too good to scratch for the mill. It's a waste sending workers out there to die. All it does is feed the damn trogs. Mill foreman Everett, who is now deceased. Ammo mill instructions. The steel mill's ammo press is key to the military might of the pit as it allows the user to repurpose simple ammunition to more convenient calibers. All soldiers, traders, and raiders in the pit are expected to be familiar with its use. Found in the steel mill, the ammo press overlooks the whole load unused ammo types and raw material into the materials bin and activate the nearby ammo press terminal. Select the new ammo type, press it, 
and collect your new ammunition from the materials bin. Available ammo types, 5mm, 5.56, 5, 10, 32, 308, 44, shotgun shells, raw material, any of the above ammo, scrap metal. Okay. Toys needed for the healthy, playful baby. Little Marie particularly enjoys teddy bears. If you find any, bring them to Medea in the pit for payment of caps and gratitude. I wonder if you get anything from that. If you uh, give her enough teddy bears or whatever. Okay, so before we leave, let's find this, the uh, ammo press. Can you fast travel in here? Pit Steelyard, Downtown, Uptown, Haven. You can fast travel, but it's down here, right? Or is it downtown? I do not remember. I can go with the flow. Two more stops to go, then we can start to be the fought three weekend for me. Enjoy, enjoy. Have a good time. Have a good time. Uh, where is the ammo press? It's like over there, right? What are you guys doing down there? It's over here, maybe? They're watching. Okay, what up, Brian? You're new, aren't you? Are you here from the eerie stretch? The capital wasteland? Ronto? Where's home? The eerie stretch. Look at all this lore, all this all these lore areas. Uh what's with all the questions? Oh, no reason. Just asking. I haven't seen you before, that's all. Never mind then. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Ammo press terminal. Okay, so how does this thing work again? What the flow? Steel mills ammo press is key to the move. Found in the steel mill. The ammo press overlooks the hole. Load unused ammo and raw material into the materials bin and activate the nearby ammo ammo press terminal. Okay, where's the materials bin? This? Yes. Okay, so what type of ammo do we not use? 308, pretty much, yeah. 32, 44, 10 millimeter. Yeah, what do we have a lot of that we don't use? 5 millimeter I need for what we planned with this guy. Shotgun shells? Use the terrible shotgun. 308, 32, we use Wild Bill's sidearm, but we might not. Uh, 44 round, I guess, right? We could at least use this. Or 10 millimeter, we don't really have a 10, 10 millimeter weapon at the moment. Yeah, let's do that. Boop. Boop. Okay, and then we can also use... You can also use scrap metal, right? Okay. So I don't think I've ever even used this, by the way. This is the first time ever. Okay, ammo press status screen. Ammo press a one status active. Ammo press two status active. Operating instructions. Step one, load ammo or raw metal into materials bin. Step two, use terminal to select ammo type to produce. Step three, press ammo. Step four, retrieve newly pressed ammo from materials bin. Ammo production. Select new ammunition type for reprocessing. Okay, so five millimeter. I wonder if this is one to one. 300 rounds of 10 millimeter. Does that turn into 300 rounds of five millimeter, for instance? 5mm would be good, 5.56 five, would be good for a perforator, 10mm, nope, 308, nope, 32, nope, 44 magnum, nope, shotgun shells, nope, so it's, f yeah, if we use this, it goes away in two seconds, so I think we do 5.56. Five, 5.56mm five, six. Five, five, six round ammunition, select ready to convert material to a new ammo type, calculate production run, 201 to 4, oh, it's like a variable amount, okay, press 5.56. Five, five, Pressing. Excuse me. Did we literally get the lowest amount? What? There's no way. Wasn't it like 201 to 400 something? We got the lowest amount possible. Okay, that's interesting though. I don't think I've ever uh, used this. So yeah, you can basically convert ammo you don't use into other ammo, which is pretty cool. Alright, and that's the pit, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. What I'll probably... I forgot you could go back to the pit. I thought you were just done with it. So what I will probably do is make sure we got all the unique weapons and armor. Um, if we missed any. I feel like we got all of it. There's not a lot in the pit, I don't think. 
And then also giving Marie teddy bears would be good too. Cause I don't know. I'll look into this. If it's just like a, you get karma and caps or whatever, it's probably not a big deal, but how the heck do we get out of here now? Can I just fast travel pit train yard? You cannot fast travel from this locale. Okay. Uh, let's try to leave and we'll review it while we leave. Uh, the pit DLC. Obviously, we did it in a little weird of a way because we killed Asher straight up. Because uh, we had the option to. Um, where does that tell me to go? Oh, it's like glitched or something? Okay. Uh, let's just activate a normal quest, not a DLC quest. We'll do that one. Let's tell me to go over there. So weird. Um, yeah, obviously we did in a little bit of a different way because we just killed Asher instead of like working with him or whatever. Uh, obviously we did it in a weird way. Um, uh, we killed Asher, um, when we could have killed him, which I honestly wish we would have just worked with him because I really wanted to see like what he was about and all that. Kind of wish we didn't just kill him. Uh, but we did what we did as a good character anyways. Okay, where's this going? This is so weird. Somebody go way over there, but you need to go this way. Center leads to a complicated network of tunnels and old highways that return to the capital wasteland. Stay in the pit. Travel to the capital wasteland. To the capital wasteland we go. Oh, uh, yeah. The pit's real interesting, man, because it's one of those games. It's one of those DLCs that when it came out, I played it as they came out. You know, all the Fallout 3 stuff. I think it was the second DLC, Operation Anchorage, then the pit. And I really didn't like it because of the subject material. I did not play games that were dark and twisted and depressing. You know, I, I definitely did not play that type of stuff as a kid. So same thing with Dead Money. When Dead Money came out for New Vegas, when The Pit came out for 3, I really did not like them at all. That's not to speak of their quality. That's just because, yeah, The Pit's depressing as hell, man. And it's very scary for a young kid with the trogs and stuff, especially if you're like me. So, uh, going back to it, revisiting it now, very short, very, very, very short, but I like it. It's got a lot of, uh, character to it. It's really, you know, the depressing, dark, you know, wasteland. It's probably one of the darker things Fallout covers in general, and it's cool. Um, yeah, someone correct me if I'm wrong. The baby just having the immunity and, like, the ability to make cures is kind of weird. They just had a baby and it just had that after all their research? Or did they do something to themselves? I feel like that's a kind of a big weakness in the writing. Uh, I do like collecting the ingots. I like that it's kind of like a little enclosed area that you can go out and collect all the stuff and get re unique rewards. I think that's epic. Um, yeah, extremely short story, though, man. Just feel like it needs like one to three more missions, which maybe we would have gotten if we worked with Asher, but apparently it doesn't change much. So I don't know. Definitely wanted to hear more about Asher, though. Kind of ruined that by just killing him. And um, yeah, very short. It's got a lot of uh, spirit to it. It's a pretty memorable little DLC there. I like it. Yeah, overall, I definitely have a newfound appreciation for it. I don't think it quite rises to something like Dead Money, though. I think, like, Dead Money does the pit kind of even better. You know what I mean? But I enjoyed it. Uh, so as far as what we got left, not too much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the local flavor, Point Lookout, that'll be great. I'm really looking forward to that. And then Beat the Game and then Broken Steel, as well as, like, two side quests and getting all the other, lo other locations, I believe. So, yeah. Um... It'll be fun. This playthrough is nearing the end. We could finally finish it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, no idea when these videos will go up, but they shall go up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.